Now welcome to another news from Naboo with Thor's lightning takes. All right, and we got a few things to discuss on this weekend edition, so let's get right to it. See, weekend edition, like we've never done these on the weekend. I don't know if we have. Have we? Probably don't. Don't go looking. I'm sure we have. All right, let's get to it. So the mysterious series we've talked about on this channel, we have more possible details on it. More leaks and rumors. So the show that was described as the Stranger Things in Space, you know, the one we told you was named Grammar Rodeo. Love the, the name. The one that's in pre-production in California. Supposedly it's going to be set during the High Republic era. There's even guesses as to why it's called Grammar Rodeo to try and give us a hint about what this series is going to be about, if you can believe leaks and rumors, which sometimes turn out to be true. Sometimes so, they turn out to be true, yeah. As to why it is codenamed Grammar Rodeo, well, there's an explanation. It could be a reference to an episode of The Simpsons where Bart and his friends tricked their parents into letting them take a trip to the National Grammar Rodeo. If you want to infer from that, the show could focus on a cast of young actors, Padawans. Young Padawans, yeah. And the High Republic content likes to talk about Padawans anyway, so it all marks. Okay, so they go off mission, encounter... If it's like Stranger Things, the only thing I can think of that is Stranger Things in the High Republic era is the Drenger. They're the big plant monsters, for those of you who haven't gotten into the High Republic. They are not overly explored so far. They kind of pop up in a book, seem like they're going to be a big threat, and then they kind of get dealt with in the High Republic comics. They're, they show up in a few other places too, but they I thought they were going to be like a, a big threat along with the, the Nile, and not really. They kind of, like I said, they kind of just get dealt with. So, I, I, well, I guess. This could be the show they were calling The Acolyte. Well, that's supposed to be set in the final days of the High Republic, like 50 years before the prequel trilogy, and... I, Which would fit the bill for this supposed timeline during High Republic. I guess. I mean, I, by the name Acolyte, I'm thinking it deals more with the Sith. I mean, I, I've speculated that the timeline could work, that it even deals with Plagueis and maybe his master and so on, but I don't know. That's a guess. That would be a, a hopeful guess. This is also... The, the Acolyte is the same series that got labeled as female-centric, for whatever that's worth. I will label all so, series as female-centric as a female who wants to watch them. Well, I don't... I mean, <laughs> it, it could be female-centric. That's not what I'm saying. I don't I'm, understand I'm, that term. Sorry. Well, no. I mean, we can branch off into all their discussion about that, but, I mean, if we're talking about that time period, the Sith that we know about are not female. I mean, I guess they could be, though Plagueis is referred to as a he by Palpatine in Revenge of the Sith, so... I mean, I, like I said, I don't want to get into it. I mean... What I find curious is if this is a true leak slash rumor, High Republic, another High Republic series. It seems to be separate from the Acolyte, I'm assuming, or maybe it is the Acolyte, and just we're, it's going to be something that we are different from what is expected. Well, the Padawan could be referred to as an Acolyte, for all we know. Sure, I guess. It's just, I mean, going all in on the High Republic era, It's that's an interesting call. I well, mean, people seem to like it. Well, yes and no. It's it's hard to know because so many people seem to be anti. I've, I've read pretty much everything High Republic now, I believe, and it's it's pretty good. It's not bad. I mean, you want my honest take? It's it's decent. There are certainly aspects that are better than others, as is going to be the case. It's not like oh my god, mind blowingly amazing, but it's good. It's been very solid, and there's a lot of people who don't like it because it is quote unquote the pet project of Kathleen Kennedy. It seems like they want to. You know, kind of associate her with it, which to some degree it seems to be, but a lot of the negative or the hatred towards it comes from people who have never read any of it, for better or worse. So, as someone who's read it, it's not bad. I mean, it's not something I would like, every Star Wars fan needs to read this, it's so amazing. No, if you like the books, you know, in the comics and in general, and you, you know, you like Star Wars, give it a shot, and if it's not your thing, that's fine. All right, let's move on to our next story. So, Rosario Dawson didn't know she was filming with Mark Hamill until that very day. On Twitter, she was kind of asked-ish if she was geeked out to be filming a scene with Luke Skywalker. Her reply was, are you kidding? I was freaking out. I am still pinching myself that I got to work with Mark Hamill as Ahsoka. I didn't know my scene was with Luke till the day of. Which, um, with how secretive they are, I guess makes sense. I mean, she thinks she was filming the scene with. Well, she's the, telling the Jedi, oh, "I, you know, you're just like your father." Well, for all we know, we she didn't get the entire script or the right script. Keep in mind, everybody who, when Luke came back in season two of The Mandalorian, most people were told it was Plo Koon who was going to show up, 
we also can go back to the Empire Strikes Back. I mean, who a very, very small handful of people knew that what Luke was actually, or Mark Hamill was actually going to say in that scene, or that Vader was going to see in that scene about being the father and so on. So, you know, it... Well, as long as their secret keeping doesn't interfere with the actors being able to put forth their best performance. I, I mean, I think so. I, think I mean, it if was you're not getting a script till the very day of, how much prep time are you getting for that, that act? True. But I guess, I mean, my, my biggest quote-unquote disappointment with that whole scene was that's not the first encounter between Luke and Ahsoka. We kind of missed that. Really kind of wanted to see what they, you know, what's that initial reaction to each other? This is Ahsoka seeing the son of her master and vice versa. This is Luke seeing someone who intimately knew his father. Yeah, so we actually don't know where they actually met first. Yeah, so we didn't we didn't see that, which is kind of disappointing, but, uh, you know, and I'm guessing we'll get it someday somehow, but you kind of already took the excitement out of it a little bit with that but still a cool scene in general just seeing those two together absolutely okay let's move on to our last story then the pr ship doesn't stop so (laughs) so galactic star cruiser put out another promo video highlighting the food beverages and merchandise i admit the food looks really good i mean i don't know in the video how much they're showing you is the base food that everyone's given options for as included in their trip or how much of this is the stuff you pay extra for if you want captain's table or special options. But it does look really tasty. Well, sure. I mean, I, I hope it's for that price. I hope the food is amazing. And mm-hmm. like you said, I think one of the one of the many problems is how much extra everything will cost. I mean, Not only that, but uh, the drinks. Oh, my God. The drinks look so cool. Like, they're pulling out little vials and like, this is the Mustafari and such and such. And everything looked really cool that they were putting together the colors everything looks very in universe but the drinks are supposedly like 30 bucks from the sublight lounge that's a lot of money for a I drink i don't know i mean 30 bucks is probably the high end i mean no one's gonna be like oh yeah this was only five dollars and it was amazing they're gonna tell you the high end because everyone's upset with the cost in general not to mention the gift shop option they look fantastic they sure. talk about how they Got to go to Rancho Obi Wan and look at archived clothing, so they could like recreate Padme Amidala's cloak or things that really fit. That you can choose this and that to kind of create your own Star Wars outfit. The jewelry looked amazing. I wouldn't actually mind owning a, something of well, that. I mean, if but, you've got some got some credits. Well, you can, it can see, all be yours. See, that's the problem. The Disney Disney in the video, of course, does not mention the prices, and that's for a good reason. Everything in the gift shop and stuff, they're all hugely expensive items. I mean, I suppose if you can afford the trip in the first place, they're assuming you can possibly well, afford yeah, a souvenir, but... If you can afford $6,000 for two nights, you could probably afford a couple hundred dollar dress, if not more. But as I've said about Galactic Star Cruiser, if you've got the money and you don't mind paying that kind of price, then go for it. I just think it's, again, something that kind of misses the average fan, which Star Wars is supposed to be a giant fan family community kind of thing and it just misses the mark which is odd because disney world is of course a big family attraction but it's just getting more and more expensive i'm not gonna ramble on about that but no i mean does everything look cool does the food look amazing do these costumes and you know other things look amazing absolutely i mean i'm not going to say it doesn't look good in that respect i'm not saying that as i said before the cast and the crew all great i'm sure you've done an amazing job taking something something as like pedestrian or earthy as a cruise ship which is just and giving a, you a space experience yeah which is just a weird thing to kind of insert into star wars in the first place i think not that you uh, wouldn't see people going on cruises in the star wars galaxy but no one when i say star wars the first thing you think isn't a uh, luxury cruise is it i don't know i mean you don't know who's the come on now nobody thinks that a, sh- a trip among the stars to go to a, de- a different destination it's called planet? star wars though not like star cruiser but if, if you're thinking you're an average person who lives on a planet in star wars a cruise might be a perfect trip for you sure i'm not saying that Just like i'm only saying i'm only saying that as an average if you if you are a star wars fan and you hear those words the first thing that comes to mind isn't the lap of luxury and expensive drinks and lounging around and listening to you know the the twee leak who sings i i don't know i'm just saying that that's not what i think star wars experience i don't think a cruise period to expand which, your mind thor which isn't to say which isn't to say the people in the star wars galaxy itself wouldn't go hey i'd love to go on a cruise well i, I like to think about it from that perspective if you're really going to be if they want to make this immersive experience i mean they made batu just some trading post in the middle of nowhere you know 
and now they're giving you a cruise, which it makes sense in a way. I mean, you have to be have some money to go on this cruise, and I'm sure people in the universe would have to have money to, to take it. <laughs> sure, but again, it goes back to my, you know, what are we trying to do here with Star Wars? Are we trying to make it a family friendly, inclusive, everybody can get into it kind of thing, or anybody can get into it kind oh, of thing? Yeah. Or do you want just the rich to be able to go do this elite experience? Which, you know, that's I guess it is what it is, but at the same time, I don't know. Well, I guess that's all we've got for you this time. Now it's your turn to take to the comments below and tell us what you think about any of this. What do you think about a High Republic series? Is this the Acolyte? Is it something else? Is it just a leak and rumor that isn't true? Or any of the other stories today? Tell us what you think. Leave a comment below and let's talk some Star Wars. And until next time, thanks for watching.